Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about how to spy on your competitors' Facebook ads. So this is Vishal Kalia from Rogueline.co, and we are going to go over four tools that will enable you to do that. But before we dive into these tools, I want to say that the goal here is not for you to copy and deploy what's working for your competitors. The goal here is to understand what is their strategy behind it. What type of ads are they using? What type of ad copy are they using? Is their text on the ad matches the imagery? What type of call to action do they have? Uh, before you dive into the research, I would say find about 15 to 20 competitors in your vertical and categorize them as somebody who's in the early stages, maybe less than around three to five years, somebody who's an intermediate and somebody who's super successful and have huge brand name. And then search for those five competitors in each category and see what type of ads are they running. To give you an example, that's a Prada is, is super successful. They have huge brand value. So their ad might look very different than somebody who's only been in business for maybe three to five years. So their ad might have much more copy, much more better imagery. Prada's ad might, more, might focus more on their brand name because people recognize what Prada is and their call to action will be different. So the goal here is to research different tiers of competitors and see what's working for each particular tier and how you can inspire, take inspiration from, from that and then use that in your particular niche. And another thing I would recommend is of, of all those 15, 20 competitors that you have, go visit their website. Because once you do, if they are smart marketers, they would drop a pixel, a Facebook tracking pixel on your browser and now when you will visit Facebook you will start seeing advertisements from your competitors and you should take a screenshot of those ads or you can go even one step further that click on that particular ad and see which page it lands you on so is their ad like a problem solution ad so maybe in the ad they're giving you the problem and they're saying click here to find the solution to this particular problem when you click on it the landing page or the squeeze page where you end up that page has the solution to the problem they enticed you with in the ad. And you can see how their headline is written, what type of description do they have, do they have images, video, are they trying to give you an OTO, which is one-time offer of you know, free shipping or 50, 60% of the particular product, or are they trying to make you sale on the first time when you land on the page, or are they just trying to get you to sign up for the email address so they can give you a product to buy in the third or the fourth or the fifth interaction. So this, this is the research that you have to do in your competitors. And this researching on your, their Facebook ads is just the starting point. So I would say understand the, try to understand the strategy behind it so you can understand what your competitor's marketing funnel is. And then you can reverse engineer the particular funnel and use for your niche. Uh, so let's dive into those tools right away. Hi, so welcome back and we are going to dive into four tools. So let's look at the first one, which is called addicted.io. And apparently this is the largest Facebook ad gallery. As, as you scroll down, they have about 338 ads that are indexed on their site. Uh, so one thing I also want to say, like majority of these tools have a paid version, but I don't think you need to get the paid version. The free version gives you enough information to get started. And as you scroll down, you can see, so these are the ads they have shown by default, which they think are probably the most uh, important ones. And for each ad, you can see which company ran it, was it ran in the newsfeed. This is a video ad, as you can see here, and also shows you how many views this ad had, how many people liked it, loved it, and thought it was funny. So this is a good information for you, for you to have. So let's search for one uh, company. So you can just type in either like a particular niche or a brand name. So let's say if you want to search for, let's search for Macy's, right? So here we go. So you click on Macy's and it shows you it found 270 matching ads. So as you scroll down, you can see what type of ads Macy's is running on Facebook newsfeed. So this is their main statement, the image, they're, they're not using any text on the particular image and they're using the button called shop now because they want people to click on it and go to their site to shop for the particular product. So as you scroll down, you can look at which, how many views that particular ad had. And if you are selling a product similar to what Macy's is selling, you can actually use that 
uh, type of ad to create something similar to it, but not copy the exact thing, but do something similar uh, to it. So another way that, that another thing that I really like about this particular tool is actually I'm going to go back to the home page is these filters. So you can search for which ads happened in the last 24 hours, last month, uh, videos, different type of buttons. So as you can see, you know, Facebook offers, gives you different buttons so you can use. So this is book now, download more. So let's say if you click on learn more, it will show you all the advertisement that actually had the button called learn more. So as you can see right here, and you can see which type of ads were ran that want, were enticing people to click on that button. So another thing that I really like about this is, is the wow factor. So this shows you how many people really liked a particular ad. So let's say if you want to see which ad was liked by at least a thousand people, you click on ad now and now you can see this was the ad where at least a thousand people liked it. So like this one is actually pretty funny. And you know, it says cat ear headphones are back people. So it's, it's a funny headline, 24 hour flash sale, sale. So they're enticing you to do it. And the image is pretty interesting, I think. So as you can see, so many people liked it, loved it, and were vowed by it. So this is pretty good ad. So you can search for what, so these wow factor will allow you to search for what type of ads to look for. And here's another one that you wanna see which ads really made people mad. So this would be inspiration that this is not the kind of ad you actually want to run. Um, <laughs> the Trump's ads comes on the top and you can scroll down and when people are trying to impeach him, uh, the, these are the similar ads that you probably do not want to run. Uh, another one that I really like is these are the ads that make people sad. So let's look at another thousand of them. And as you can see, you know, these are the ads people did not like. They were like mad. They were not very happy with this one. So the goal here is to find the ads that people. So here, here we go, like for people, for animals. So I'm pretty sure the reason they're not showing this video is it probably shows an animal so here we go the short heartbreaking lives of newborns and rb's suppliers hierarchy so they probably have a picture of an animal who's not been treated very well and that's why the people felt sad so use these filters to find out what different ads are running how are they running so you can take inspiration from it and then do something similar so the next tool we are going to look at is called adespresso.com uh, so they as you what the portion we are looking for is you scroll all the way in the bottom and here it talks about examples so click on examples and it will auto populate all the ads in the database. And as you can see, they have about 59,000 ad examples. And the previous tool we saw, they had about 338,000. So as you can see, these different tools have different set of database. Uh, so this, the way you can search here, I always look for desktop newsfeed. I don't care much about the Facebook right column because nobody really clicks on that. So desktop newsfeed, so either you can search by a particular example or brand name, particular niche. Uh, so let, let's search for Macy's again, the one we looked last time and see which ads pop up. And as you can see, it has 65 ad examples and these ads are different than what you saw using a previous tool. So look at, they have like a main image of the product, Macy's one day sale, so maybe they're enticing people with the sale. And that's why, because they want people to buy the product, they're using the button called shop now and not learn more or sign up or anything like that. Like versus this example, where it's Macy's wedding registry because they, there's nothing for them to shop. They want people to sign up. So that's why using this particular button. So this, this is a pretty good way of looking at it. What type of ads are they using? Another thing we can actually do is look by the industry. So let's delete these and let's pick um, some random industry. Let's pick games. Uh, so you click here and now you can see they have about 102 ad examples from games. So League of Angels. Um, and you can see which type of ads these industry is running. So the goal here is to find out what are the best ads in not in just in your niche, but also in different niches. And so you can see what's worked for them. Maybe your competitors have not used a similar strategy to run an ad and you can take inspiration from it and run an ad that is popular in different niche and run it in your particular niche and that will make you stand out and rather than just copying your particular um, industry. So you know these are different objectives, what you wanna do. So overall, this is a pretty good tool. So the next one we are going to look at is called moat.com. Uh, so this tool not, doesn't necessarily gives you only Facebook ads, but it gives you ad creatives from all over the web. So I typically like this tool because if I'm searching for Macy's or Prada, so I wanna see what type of ads that they're running around the web rather than just on Facebook. 
Uh, so this gives, doesn't give you too much information, but gives you like something you can get started on. So let's, let's look for Macy's ads again um, so we can see how, how it's different. So it takes a little, so it has about 11,000 creatives. As you can see, all these ads are different sizes, so they're not necessarily Facebook ads. They are everywhere on the web. And once you hover over in each ad, it tells you where is it running. So it's not a mobile ad, it's a desktop ad, the dimensions, and it has been running for over a year. So apparently this ad is doing really well for them. So you can see, you know, they have an image of a happy couple, some champagne glasses, a wedding shop, and their dresses, jewelry, gifts. So they're trying to entice the wedding market with, with this one. And this is the same thing happily ever after. And this can gives you an idea of if this ad they have been running for over a year, it has to be the ad that, that is performing pretty well for them. So you can go through these examples and, and see if the ad is running longest time. Maybe that's a good one for you to take inspiration on. And next time you see that type of ad and it can tell you, click on it so you can visit their page and see what are they enticing you are they asking you to buy a product right away or are they asking you to register for for the wedding registry so they can pitch you the product in the third and the fourth interaction so last and not the least tool is called swipe worthy uh, i really like this tool because it it might not have that much selection of ads but they deep dive into each ad and it could be emails uh, facebook ads and you know sales pages sales copy and they give you their reasoning why they think this particular ad or sales copy or email worked and what you can take from it. So they do really good analysis. Uh, so let's say we look at all type of ads. As you can see, they have like a banner ad, before and after ad. If you scroll down, let's find the Facebook one first. Uh, here we go. So they have about 38 of them. So as you scroll down, it gives you all the Facebook ads that they have analyzed. Um, you click on more swipe, gives a little bit more. Um, as you see here, it says swipe study. So let's look at this one. Uh, we haven't looked at any food niche. So this, they show you the ad looks like this by New York Times. This is the food. And as you hover over, you see this um, their analysis. And it tells you the headline specifically calls out to people who either think they are addicted or are unsure and have an urge to find out. So see, like the headline says, are you a food addict? So now they're giving you the reason they picked this headline and that's the audience they're trying to target. You scroll down, they give you analysis on each particular ad, the copy, why they think this thing worked. So this is really, really good tool that if you are unsure of how people are reacting, you can actually read their description and their analysis. Uh, another one that I really like on this one is, is the emails. Uh, let's see if they have here. Here we go, so e email uh, copy. So this one, they'll analyze like different set of emails that people send and how the email funnel is looking like to convert people. So let's look at this one. So this is from Frank Kern. Actually, he's, he's a really great speaker. Uh, so here we go. The first email that Frank Kern sends, I'm going to hide these for now. Uh, this is the first email it sends and gives you why, what this information is. So present is a great word for free plus shipping funnel. So that's what the words he's using in different text. And as you can see, these are the three set of emails that he sends. And these guys have analyzed in, in a very clean way to, for you to understand and see what process are they following for giving, hitting the customer for the first time with a pitch, second time, and then converting them in, in the third time. So I would highly recommend using these things to find out a, that you can deep dive in, into uh, the ads and get you started. So as you can see, there are four tools you can use. First one was Addicted.io, Adespresso, Moat, and Swipeworthy. Each tool has their own different reason, reasons and gives you different data. So the goal here is to understand what's working for your competitors, You know what type of ads are they showing. And once you click on it, where are they taking you? What type of landing page are they bringing you in? So from there, you can reverse engineer their um, uh, marketing funnel and use something similar for your product and for your particular niche. So again, this is Vishal Kalia from rogueline.co. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment and I would love to hear from you. And if you find some another site that you think would be useful for our users, some new way that you research for ads, please do share. I'm always interested in learning more stuff. And thank you very much and have a wonderful day.